Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Allie. So I kind of dropped the ball on this month's Ipsy. Well, last month's Ipsy. This is my November Ipsy unbagging. Um, so I am late to the game on it. I got sick the end of November and unfortunately didn't get to film or get around to film this video, but it is such a cute glam bag that I definitely still wanted to do this for you guys. So even though it's December 1st, we're still going to go ahead and unbag this Ipsy. The theme is absolutely adorable. It's royal treatment. And I just love all of these tones going on. It's just incredible. Like I love the velvet touch to the bag, but I also love like all the other shades they put into this, the dark like royal blue, the different reds, just everything about this month's theme I'm in love with. And the first item in here is actually an item that I'm already really excited about because I really love this product. This is from Estate Cosmetics and it is one of their do do me highlighters? Yeah, do me highlighters in the shade Pearl. I had to grab my other one. So I've actually had one of these for a while. Let me make sure these are not the same shades. No, they actually are different shades. The packaging, I have to say, is a little cheap. Um, it's just like a plastic packaging. Mine on my other one has actually cracked. So it's not like the most amazing packaging ever, but the like quality of the actual highlighter is so good. It, it's such a beautiful highlighter. It's a baked formula, so I just feel like in general, it's just a really nice, like, light powder. Doesn't look, like, too cakey or too crazy or anything, but at the same time, like, it makes you beam. So this is the shade, kind of hard to see. This is the shade Lit, the one I already had, and then this one right here, this lighter one, is my new shade, um, Pearl. It definitely is like a wider metallic. It does kind of have like a pink shift to it almost as well. Beautiful highlighters. I feel like you get less texture showing through with this formula though. It's a really nice baked formula. I can already see myself editing this video. I'm going to be like it's probably going to be a very choppy video, so please bear with me. I'm just still trying to get over everything. I'm getting my voice back, but I'm also like, like I know my breathing is probably intense, so I'm going to try to edit out as much as I can so that it's not super annoying for you guys either, but that might make this video a tad bit choppy today. So the second product is from Briorgio Hair Care. It's their Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask, and I've also tried this product it's really good. I've always swore by this brand when it comes to my hair. I haven't really used like their uh, shampoo and conditioner or anything like that, but I've used tons of their different hair masks. I've used, I think, a detangler of theirs in the past. I've also used, I think, leave-in conditioner before that was really nice. Um, maybe even a dry shampoo in the past as well, but I've always loved this. This is one of my top hair care brands when I am going to buy a product. Um, I don't treat my hair as much as I treat my skin like I probably should but when I do I usually always go for Briogeo or Amica or a brand like that R & Co is really good um but yeah this is one of my favorite repair masks for your hair it's really good and I did forget to mention, but the highlighter is a full size at $10 and then this of course is deluxe sample size the full size this one only has one fluid ounce, which that's pretty decent for a deluxe sample, um, and it feels pretty full. It has 30 mils in it. The full size has 237 mils, and it's $38, so you get quite a bit of product. Um, the next product I think was the one I got to pick for this month's bag is the Pure Cosmetics 4-in-1 Sculpting Concealer in LN2. I have fallen in love with their... Um, four in one tinted moisturizer. It is so good. I always get confused the packaging on it. I don't have it out in front of me, but the packaging on it always makes me think it's like a cover effects product. But it's a tinted moisturizer from them. I absolutely love it. And this one is their four in one concealer. And although this is a tiny, tiny little sample, I'm still really excited to be able to try it. 
I just don't know how much product is in this. It feels pretty empty to be honest. Yeah, I just now I'm getting product out of it. Um, but I'm interested to see like how much coverage it has when it comes to being um, the four in one line because the tinted moisturizer, it's more of like a radiance boost in a way. It doesn't give you like a lot of coverage, but it's also a tinted moisturizer where for a concealer, I'm sure you're going to get a lot more coverage. Shade wise, it looks okay. Kind of a little yellow, um, but it is the same shade that I use in their tinted moisturizer. So we will see. I still want to try it out. I don't know how many uses I'm really going to get with a sample this tiny. Um, the full size, though, retails for $22. It seems a little bit thicker, but blended out pretty nicely. Um, and it seems like there's somewhat decent coverage to it. So we'll see. Next is the Hanhu, Hanhu Dermafix Blemish Moisturizer. It is another deluxe sample size. The full size is $14. And I don't know how many, like... Oh, this has 0 0.5 ounces, sorry, 0 0.50 fluid ounces, 15 mils. The full size has 60 mils for $14. That's not bad. Um, but yeah, this is a blemish moisturizer. It's perfect for oily and acne-prone skin types. It's a lightweight lotion made, made of 90% natural-deprived ingredients like green tea and cal calamine. So it's supposed to help. It's just like a clear um, moisturizer, but it's supposed to help inflammation and redness plus control excess oil production for a clear glowing complexion. It says it can be morning or night moisturizer. It feels really nice. I feel like I would probably like this type of moisturizer because I am, you know, acne prone for like right before my makeup because I usually go in with a hydrating primer for my dry skin. So I feel like I probably wouldn't wear this at nighttime for myself because I am so dry, but uh, more so before like a hydrating primer. I feel like this would work really nicely for me or maybe even targeting it in my T-zone or more problem area. I'm excited to give that a go, though. I don't think I've ever tried anything from that brand. The last product is from Sonage, or Sonage. I'm not sure how you pronounce that, skincare. Um, a lot of skincare, or yeah, I guess a little bit of a mix, some makeup, half makeup, half skincare, and a hair care product, but this is their Luster Eye Cream. It's for fine lines, dark circles, and puffiness. It's made with squalene, green tea, chamomile. Sounds really nice. This is another brand that I've heard of, but I've never tried before. Um, it is another deluxe sample size. There's a lot of deluxe sample sizes this month for sure. Um, but it is a white cream right there. It looks a little thicker, but it blends out kind of like a gel moisturizer. I'm not really getting a scent from it. Um, it has 7.5 mils or 0 0.25 fluid ounces. The full size has 0 0.5 ounces and is $38. So I have heard really good things about this brand. I also love that it says besides being cruelty free, it's also woman owned, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to try that. Lightweight matte contour care. Overall, I don't think the bag was bad. I think my biggest letdown with it is just all the deluxe sample sizes. And since I did get so many deluxe sample sizes, I would have liked for this sample to be a tad bit bigger. Um, but I feel like that's my only critiques. Besides that, I'm really excited about all the products I got. I'm excited to try them, let you know what I think. Um, one other thing that I picked up from the add-ons was the $3 luminous dewy skin mist from Tatcha. I want to try it again. It's been a long time since I've had the dewy mist from Tatcha, so um, I thought I would show my skin some extra moisture, some extra luminosity this uh, winter. So I picked up this. It seems pretty full. Um, there's only five mils, 0 0.17 fluid ounces in it, so not a whole lot, but I do love that it's like a little spray bottle. So I'm going to try it out again. It's been over a year since I've used it, probably close to two years, so I'm excited to try it out again. But yeah, that was my November. Thank you if you tuned in today. I know it's super, super late, so I really appreciate you if you did. Um, I know I am like 
a month or two behind on comments. I don't know why I'm so bad at replying to YouTube comments. There's just something about it. I'm not like that on Instagram, but over here I'm really bad at replying to comments. So I'm going to try to get better at that. But I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Um, just something short and sweet. I'm trying to get back into it. And I didn't want to do a super long one with me like this because... I know I'm already going to be irritated, like, editing this. I don't want to, like, annoy you guys with my voice or my breathing or anything like that. So I'm kind of working myself up to it. So hopefully I can film some more soon where I'm not so... Oh, I'm very winded right now. It's kind of intense. <laughs> oh, I also wanted to mention, in case you didn't mind my windedness and sickness, <laughs> um... I am starting Vlogmas over on my vlog channel, so go check it out if you're into vlogs or even Christmas Vlogmas stuff in general. I will have my first one linked right up above um, or down in the comments because it may be starting tomorrow when you guys watch this. So yeah, go check out my vlog channel. I really appreciate it. I'm going to be doing um, vlogs up until Christmas every day. I'm really excited, a little nervous about it. Hopefully I can pull it off with already being sick. But yeah, I'm really excited and I hope you guys check it out. Subscribe while you're there. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it and I'll see you in my next one.